hey guys and thanks for joining me for yet another video in this presentation we're going to be taking a look at how to prepare salt and pepper chicken now this just happens to be one of my top three ways of making chinese style chicken um, in this particular presentation we're going to be making it with some mixed vegetables and we're going to be using some chinese seasonings as well so and I'm back here with some chicken legs I have some chicken legs that I cut into individual like I cut them three times so this is would make up an entire chicken leg here it's just cut up chopped three times I Chinese chopped them now to season this chicken after it's been rinsed and washed of course in lime I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of garlic half a teaspoon of ginger half a teaspoon of black pepper half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil so i'm gonna incorporate that into the chicken and i'll be right back so after your chicken has been seasoned with those four ingredients that i mentioned we're gonna let this sit aside for to marinate for about half an hour next you're gonna need some more ingredients for this so you're gonna need some minced ginger minced garlic color pepper if you have green peppers, that's more specific towards this menu. Uh, this is some green onions that I'm going to be chopping. I have two of these peppers here. I grew them in my garden last summer. So I'm going to be introducing them because I should use chilies, but I'm going to be using these. I have two onions that I'm going to be roughly chopping and a carrot. So all of my veggies are prepped. My carrots are julienned and so are the peppers that you saw and the sweet red and yellow and orange pepper as well as the green onions are minced and the regular onions are rough chopped which means they're cut into four and then split apart like that um yeah so that's ready to go as well as we have that minced garlic and ginger as now well. to make our spice blend we're gonna need four more ingredients and that would include some salt we're gonna need half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of powdered chicken base, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. So I'm gonna prepare those ingredients here and then I'm gonna show you what they look like and incorporate it so you can see. But we're gonna basically mix in a seasoning salt. So to make it, that's what we're gonna need. So I have my four seasonings here that are ready to go. I'm just gonna be mixing them to incorporate just to make sure everything's one flat seasoning. On another note, I have some cornstarch. I have one cup of cornstarch here measured out and I'm just gonna be sprinkling this over the chicken. And then I'm just gonna be spinning some pieces around in there. And on the side I have another container and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just be shaking it off into that container after I batter each piece kind of like that shake it off and then we transfer it over into this bowl over here so you do that for each piece of chicken until all are covered and placed in that and bowl. now is also a good time to put on your pot because you're gonna need to be frying these so I would place that on right now while you're doing this so that it gets a chance to heat up nicely so now is a good time to place your oil to prep it for the chicken. So my oil is hot. I have two cups of oil here in this on a medium high heat and it's hot. I have all my chicken that's been covered with the cornstarch. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing a whole fry because of the amount. But I'm probably going to do two batches. Um, two batches of chicken going in here because... I have a lot of pieces, so I have, I wouldn't say half, <laughs> but I have a good portion of it frying here. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes, and that'll be the total fry time, so after 5 minutes, 
I'm going to flip it on the other side and get the other side of the chicken frying. So we let this go for five minutes on medium high heat. And so we hit our first five minutes of fry time. So I'm just gonna go in and start flipping over these pieces of chicken so that the other side gets cooked. Hey y'all, so my 10 minute timer is just going off right now. So I'm just gonna turn that off. And my chicken is pretty much nice and golden, so my bowl is going to be to be taking them out. I have a bowl on the side here with some paper towel, and that's going to be taking out the pieces of fried chicken and letting it go in there to drain off. So my second batch of chicken is finished as well, frying. So I'm taking them out. I have a separate bowl that's going to be relieving these pieces the initial bowls right there but the reason i have the second bowl going on is because this first batch of chicken is going to get refried for no more than five minutes that's just to intensify the crispiness so i'll be putting that in right here as i take so as these. i said we're going to be putting these in for no more than five minutes um back into this oil So it's been five minutes of frying the first batch. So it's this was its second time of going into the fryer. So a total of 15 minutes. The first time it was 10 minutes. And then this time it was five minutes. So we're just doing the same thing, taking them off and putting them back into the strainer to strain off. And we're gonna repeat with the second batch as well. So everything's getting double fried. For five so minutes. to an empty pot here on medium high heat, it's I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. So first we're gonna be putting in our onions into this mix. We'll add the onions and the carrots. Yeah, so we just only put in our carrots, onions, and the green peppers, you know, the kind of spicy chili ones. And to that, we're going to add half a teaspoon of ginger and half a teaspoon of garlic. And we're going to saute these ingredients in this pot for three minutes before we do anything else. And so it's been a total of three minutes of it pouring like that. The next thing we're going to be adding is our tricolor peppers into this pot. We're going to be holding back our green onions for the last stage. Remember our salt and seasoning mix that we made? We're going to be adding that in at this point and giving it a nice stir. Yeah, so we just added that seasoning salt mix that we made earlier to it and we're going to give it a nice little stir. Right after doing that, we are going to be adding our chicken to this and incorporating that into the mix. So first we're gonna add chicken, some of it. Once you add your chicken to the pot, it's safe to turn off the stove. And you're gonna give this a mix. This is just half of your chicken, by the way. So you still have a whole nother half to add to it. And we're going to give it a good mix to incorporate everything. Hi right, guys, so this is the end product of the salt and pepper chicken. It's ready to be served. It can be served as a side on its own. It can be served over better rice. Um, I'm probably going to be having it with rice. Yeah, so this is ready to go. I just wanted to come back and show you what it should look like when it's all ready. So, so.